Good morning, Twin Flame, Twin Soul Soulmates. This is Brainy Twin Gemini for February 25th, 2020. First and foremost, I want to thank you all so much for the love, the likes, the subs, the sense of community on our channel. It really warms my heart, and I love you all so, so much. As many of you know, I'm a messenger, a coach on this journey, and I've been given signs and sinks every single day, and I believe these signs and sinks are messages that I need to deliver to you. As many of you know, I channel everything in my journal here, and I just strictly flip the cards out of my own entertainment purposes because the cards always resonate with the messages in my journal. And as, as I said, these messages um, are messages that are delivered to me every single day, and I believe I have to give these messages to you. I don't do my, I don't do videos every day. I do them when I'm nudged, and I actually wasn't going to do a video today because I've been working on many other projects. I just relaunched the separation video with a better audio. I'm working on the awakening and ego um, versus soul. So all these are in the works. Um, they should be coming to you at some point this week. They're just out for editing right now. And again, a divine messenger here. So I'm going to go over the signs and sinks for the last 24 hours and the number sequencing. Believe it or not, I didn't really see that many um, numbers. I only saw 555-333-444-1010. And I work with numbers every day. And I don't look for these messages. They just simply come to me. When I was driving to work yesterday, I saw four hawks hovering. And I don't normally see, you know, I usually see two, one, whatever, but I saw four and I really like four because four is my birth number. And it had a lot of significance yesterday because there was four of them. And I just, this stuff never ceases to amaze me. So again, four, four, um, hawks, I see the dove, the doves every single day. And I think the doves are, um, a reminder that I'm a messenger on this journey, but I do see them every day. And again, the hawks are such a good omen. It, you know, it represents eternal love, past life, hawks mate for life. There's spiritual wisdom, spiritual knowledge, awakening, all good things come with hawks and all good things come with doves as well. But one thing was very odd. When I was driving home, I, there was these chickens on the side of the road. <laughs> I don't know what chickens mean because I just haven't had a chance to, you know, look at the symbolism, but they were, I, I don't know why I see this stuff, but there was chickens on, on the side of the road when I was driving home yesterday. I'm going to go over um, something kind of crazy that happened yesterday at work. And again, I don't know why this stuff happens, but it just happens. So on Saturday, um, I dreamt of a snake, an anaconda snake. And on my video on Sunday, I was talking about snakes and the symbolism behind snakes. And an anaconda is like the mother of snakes. It's like one of the largest, well, it is the largest snake in the world. And um, I was dreaming of smaller snakes, but then this anaconda came out, the mother of all snakes. And what I was trying, um, you know, the message that was delivered to me, specifically as a snake, as it sheds its skin and its rebirth and rejuvenation, rejuvenation. And this, this journey is much about rebirth and rejuvenation. And also be careful who you get bitten by. Because there's, sheeps and snake, um, there's snakes in sheep's skin. So people aren't always what they seem. They are very, you know, and it's unfortunate. That's the world we live in. I'm on this journey to spread light where there's darkness. I know that's why I've been pushed. I'm here to debunk dishonesty and give you the true authentic message from the divine or whomever's guiding my pen to the paper. But yesterday I'm at work and I primarily got bitten um, by people at work, but I'm sitting there and I'm talking to one of the girls and there was something in my mouth and I was saying there's been teeth pain. There's been like, it's just crazy. The stuff that comes to me, but there was something and I went to my mouth and I pulled like the skin and it was not a little bit of skin on the inside of my mouth. It was like my whole inside of my mouth was shedding. And they were like, what is that? And I had told them about the anaconda snake. And, you know, they were giving me all their words of wisdom and telling me what the snake meant. And I already knew what it meant. I know what the messages are when they come to me. And I said, that's not the symbolism of it. But anyways, the inside of my mouth was shedding. No shit and word of a lie like layers and layers of skin. And the only message I can resonate with that is 
a couple of things going on. Like I said, you know, as part of this awakening, as part of this growth, when you, the twins come in, you wake each other up and you go into soul shock, so to speak, and you go through this rebirth, this rejuvenation. And I think the last thing is what comes out of your mouth. And why would all this skin be coming uh, on the inside of my mouth? I have no idea. But it just, the stuff never ceases to amaze me. So the only thing I can resonate with that, this all this skin coming out on the inside of my mouth, is just be careful what you say. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of. Um, like I said, these messages. Another thing is, is my ears were bothering me again. And like, there was actual like, fluid coming out of my ears. And again, I don't feel these are my symptoms. I feel I get these symptoms because they're messages. So one of the messages is be careful who you listen to. And, you know, and just be very, 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 very careful who you listen to. Because not everyone's authentic. Not everybody has a true heart. And not everybody comes with a loving heart. And I think that's that snake in sheep's skin. So those are the, the messages. The the or the actual energy is there's still a lot of confusion there's still a lot of healing going on there's some nostalgia going on you and this nostalgia specifically has to do with mercury retrograde retrograde is a movement of moving backwards so you just have this nostalgia you're thinking of each other you're thinking of the love the intimacy if you had intimacy the friendship all good things nothing bad there's a little bit of anxiety there's a little bit of anger some frustration um, and two songs I heard this morning while I was, um, um, channeling everything or all the messages that were going in my journal was Tom Petty, Free Falling, that was at 4.07 a.m. and Stained Outside. So again, those are saved on my playlist and if you want to listen to them and yeah, so pretty crazy stuff, eh? So I'm going to get started. Oh, and yeah, the ears, I'm going to go with the, with the third eye. Okay. That's the third eye opening up. Many of you are evolving and it's absolutely wonderful and I love it so much, but it's located in the center of the forehead. It governs the pituitary gland, the lower brain, nervous system, the ears, nose, and eyes. It, it's how we see both physically and intuitively when developed, it improves our intuitive abilities, helps us to see clearly the big picture. And I think that's exactly what's happening because even the snake represents Kundalini activation awakening. And many of you are going through this and I love it and I love it so much. And the reason why I love it is because you're getting to a better place, a better being wholeness within. And it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to call out to my guardian angels and, um, I, I do four cards for being my, you know, my birth number and those, that's kind of what I've been told to do. And again, everything always, always resonates with my journal. If things don't come out of my journal, then I, I will elaborate, but they always do. And the stuff can't be cheated. I can't. Why? Ugh. These cards, they come out exactly the same way. They come out the same way. Um, you've seen me shuffle the cards. <laughs> they come out the same way because the messages need to be told again, I guess. I don't know. I don't question this stuff. I really don't. Um, I don't. <laughs> I stopped questioning it long ago. Um, exactly, exactly, exactly. This is a spiritual journey. When you come into each other's lives, you um, awaken each other. That's that's the job of the twin, is to ignite that that spiritual flame within. Um, and you you know, it's a spiritual journey of oneself, and you evolve and you go through all of this magical stuff throughout this journey. It's difficult, you know. And one of the most difficult things is the physical separation. And, you know, if you watch that video, you'll understand why the physical separation. But it is absolutely a spiritual journey. And I love it. I love it so much. Absolutely what I wrote in my journal today, unconditional love. There's been a lot of unconditional love going back and forth between the twins right now. There's been a lot of tests in the last week, primarily why that snake came out. But there is a lot of unconditional love. 
And unconditional love is loving freely without condition. And unconditional love for oneself and for all the others around you. And when you come to a place of unconditional love, you become a magnet for love and you attract love into your life. And I love it. I love it so much. Like I said, these cards come out. You saw me shuffle them. I can't. <laughs> I cannot um, offer. For many of you, there's an offer of communication. There's an offer of love. There's an offer of commitment. There's an offer coming. That is because all of this is being done. The spiritual journey, the unconditional love, getting to that place, overcoming those tests. You know, there is an offer coming for many. And if it's not, it just means you're a little further behind in the spiritual journey. Don't get discouraged. This is a, this is, this is an endeavor. This is a journey, exactly what it is. And you have to go through each part of the journey. And, you know, some, some people, they, they, you know, they, they give up, you know, the tests are too difficult or they don't understand. That's why I'm here. I'm here to help you. I'm here to guide you along the way and get to that destination. 5D connection, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely 5D connection. These two go to hand in hand. Unconditional love and 5D. There's a lot of, you know, shit out there on the internet. Believe what's in your heart. Believe in you. If, if you know, once you get to that meditative state of unconditional love, there is absolutely, absolutely 5D. That's what 5D is. It's getting to unconditional love. And once you get to that state of unconditional love, it's meditation, right? You, you meditate and you get to that state of unconditional love and that 5D connection, that telepathic communication, it comes naturally when you're in the state of unconditional love. You feel heart flutters, your heart chakras, you're beating, your hearts are beating at the same time. You are absolutely connected and I love it. I love it so much. Crazy how that stuff comes out again. <laughs> I don't know. See, what you're watching me shuffle, okay? So I can't. <laughs> I do it out of my own entertainment, folks. I really do. Because <laughs> it always resonates with my journal. And I wasn't going to do one, like, again. But when I was meditating in the bath, it was like, no, you have to. You said... I'm going to call out to my guardian angels and if the divine masculine could say anything to the divine feminine as of now, what would they say? We live in the now. We don't live in the past. We don't live in the future. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh. All right. Mystery. This couple things going on with this mystery card today. This is a mis this this journey is a mystery, and many of the twins when they come into each other they don't completely understand what this is about, and uh, why the two of you endeavored this journey. Like why? Like it's it's a mystery, but it's definitely the divine bringing you together to wake each other up. It's a gift. It's a blessing, but it's also one of the greatest mysteries of life because you don't understand why. And you're not meant to ask the question why, because you'll never get the answer. It's a mystery. And there's mystery surrounding the divine feminine and the divine masculine. When you come into each other, you have soul recognition. You, you know, you, you, you feel like you've met each other before. You, you have this instant love, but you have, um, you keep a certain element of what it, stuff in your life, if that makes any sense. And there's mystery surrounding both. Um, energies, divine masculine and divine feminine, primarily to protect the connection. But there is a lot of mystery with the connection that surrounds the connection and with each other's energies. And as you evolve in throughout the journey and you, you get to that state of unconditional love, all the answers to the mysteries, they come. They come to you when they're meant to come, right? But there is absolute mystery surrounding this connection. This card keeps coming out for a reason. You need to get out in nature. You need to get some fresh air. You need to, you know, elevate that frequency within yourself. I always say a few minutes of the sun. You know, the sun is a, nat a natural planet. It's here for a reason. Get a few, you know, moments of sun sunlight on your face. 
It will do you the world of good. Just get that, take that air in, that fresh air. That's the reason why it's called fresh air. It's fresh. It liberates you. So get out into nature. And most importantly, there's a butterfly on there. And it's re rejuvenation, rebirth within, rebirth within the connection. And I love it. I love it so much. Grounding. Okay, exactly. Grounding, nature. They go hand in hand. When you get out in nature, you naturally ground yourself. Sit on a rock, hug a tree. <laughs> I know it sounds I know it sounds silly, but um, all of this stuff helps. You know, when you evolve on the journey, you have a greater appreciation for nature. And you naturally go out and ground in nature. It's it's just part of the journey. But just get out and to nature and ground yourself. Because, you know, this is tough. And, you know, there's been some tough energy in the last week. But it's being recommended that you get out into nature and you ground yourself. And once you get out there and ground yourself, you can stabilize your energy. Because that's what this is about. It's about balancing each other's energy. And emotions run high, you know, because that's the journey, <laughs> unfortunately. You know, you have that unconditional love for each other, but, you know, there's a certain longing because you want to physically see each other's beauty, but you have to ground. Spiritual journey, soul searching, you know, the divine masculine specifically has been kind of going into hermit mode, doing a lot of soul searching. Something's hit them. I don't know what it is. I can't always give you 100% of what is going on, just energy, but something's come in the last week. And they're, you know, they're going and they're doing some soul searching. Again, spiritual journey, soul searching, healing. That's what this is about. So, um, you know, divine feminines, you know, the mystery that surrounds us will, you know, the answers will come. Get out into nature, ground yourself. And the divine masculine is doing some soul searching right now. I love it. I love it so much. And lastly... What is um, the overall outcome energy as of now with this particular connection? And again, if this resonates great. If it doesn't, pack it away. Do not leave messages on the wall. I'll just take them down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> These are fighting with me right now. Wow. Oh, no. I want them to fall on the floor. Again, thank you so much for the love. I love you all so much. Told to shuffle them one more time. Divine Masculine speaking through music today. Too many. Four cards, please. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> Two cards, please. Unreal. <laughs> oh. One card, please. One card, please. Too many. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's a nice card, but there's three there. I can't. Why? Why does this card keep coming out? Because it keeps happening. <laughs> okay. Uh, miracles. This couple of things with this. You view each other as a miracle. Divine masculine, divine feminine. Miracle, 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 miracle. You came in in a point of each other's life where you needed to be awakened to your higher sense of yourself, your consciousness. Most beautiful gift one can receive. It doesn't always seem that way. It's not a Cinderella story. It's a roller coaster ride. Once you, you know, you, you, you come in. Um, but as you evolve throughout the journey, you view each other as a miracle. Because 
the, the, these beings, these souls have done things for you that nobody else has been able to do. You know, you, you value your self-worth, you self-love, unconditional love, unconditional forgiveness, your higher level of consciousness, higher sense of yourself, the greatest being and soul help you can be. And it is absolutely a miracle. So you have to view it as a miracle, a blessing and a gift. I love it. I love it so much. Um, stuck. Absolutely. There is, you know, some of you again, not all. What resonates, resonates. What doesn't, doesn't. Not everything is going to resonate with you completely. These messages are meant for many, many people. And some of you are stuck. You're stuck in your ego. You know? Um, and you're, you're not getting to a place of unconditional love. And you're, you're focusing on, you know, the physical separation. And primarily, I'm saying stuck in ego. And some of you are. And when that video launches, it will help you understand what ego is versus soul. But many of you are stuck. And you won't evolve if you allow that ego to win. Always come up from a place of the heart. The heart always wins. Absolutely. Been feeling this. Forgot to mention it. Um, lonely. You know, part of the soul searching, part of the journey. You know, you're lonely. Because when you're doing the work, you just naturally remove yourself from, you know, people, friends, family that are not serving you. And it's lonely. You know? But it's an endeavor. And, you know, part of it is, you know, kind of going into that hermit mode and, you know, and, and getting away from that negative energy and getting and restoring that positive energy within. And that's what the grounding and the nature does as well. But lonely, you're both lonely, you know, you miss each other because some of you may be the, the connection may be blocked and it's blocked because you need to heal. So, you know, it, you get lonely for one another. <laughs> This card keeps coming out. Why? You see me shuffle the cards. There's spying going on. And the spying is going on because you care and you're curious. You know, some, like I said, it's a perplexing journey. There's mystery. There's all sorts of things that surround this journey. And, you know, you're 99% sure of what it is, but then there's that 1% of uncertainty. So you just spy. You're curious. You want to see, you know, um, if each other, you know, have moved on or what's going on in each other's lives. You know, it's, it's not anything malicious, but I believe that, you know, both twins are doing it and it's strictly just out of curiosity and love. And again, if it resonates great, if it doesn't, just don't leave a comment on the wall, please. And I'm going to do, um, four messages, different messages. What the Divine Masculine wants to say to the Divine Feminine. I perfected this skill when I was 10. <laughs> I guess it was meant to be back then. <laughs> Three cards, please. Absolutely everything I wrote. And it's so crazy how this stuff comes out. Okay, so I have, uh, am I deserving of your love? Crazy, crazy, crazy. <sighs> Many of you, not all, when you, uh, you know, endeavor the journey, you come in each to each other to wake each other up. And some of you have self-worth issues, primarily stems from childhood. And you just, you view... <laughs> You know, the DM views you as perfect, beautiful goddess, princess, angel, whatever. And they don't feel deserving. And that primarily stems from self-worth. And that is the whole reason for the journey. Because you have to get to a place of self-worth, self-love, unconditional love, forgiveness. But that is exactly it. And, you know, the divine masculine is like, well, what do you see in me? You come to each other for a reason. The divine feminine, you could be saying the same thing. 
Well, what do you see in me? You invoke that soul health. And one of you goes into soul shock. Many, I think you both, I think both twins go into soul, soul shock. Um, this divine masculine wants to marry you. You are the one person in their life they want to marry. You know, it's, it's a difficult endeavor, but they absolutely want to marry you. They want matrimony with you. They, you, they know you're the one. You're the only one. So I love it. I love it so much. These two cards go together. <laughs> um, I don't like swearing, but I'll say it. I'm a fucking mess. Um, exactly. The soul searching, um, the awakening, uh, the activation. They're a mess. This is forced when you come in together. The divine says, okay, enough's enough. You're meant to awaken. I'm bringing you two in together and that's it. You're awakening, whether you like it or not. And it's scary. It's tough. It's terrifying. Especially when you go into soul shock and, you know, it, they're a mess. You know, it's hard. It's love. It's profound, raw, vulnerable love. A love you've never experienced. But it's also a miracle, a gift, and a blessing. But they're a mess. <laughs> um, trigger happy, so unfair. Some of you divine mat or divine feminines are, you know, not in a good place. Not all of you. A lot of you are doing well and fabulous for you. But some of you are not in a good place. And you're triggering that energy within the divine masculine. Not great. Always come from a place of love, unconditional love. And I love it. I love it so much. So I'm going to do animal spirit now. Divine Feminine's always first. These cards are hard to work with, so if one falls out, I'll take it. If one flips face up, I'll take it. One fell out. I'm calling out to my guardian angels for masculine animal spirit. One fell out. <laughs> All right. Kind of crazy. Woo. Sorry. <laughs> so we have Crow Spirit, number 17, co create with spirit. Number 17 means anything to you. One and seven is eight. I love the crow. The crow is so smart. They're very, very smart birds. I see I see crows every day. <laughs> okay. Um as you look around you, can you, you sense the magic that pulses through the world? Have you witnessed how every thought can become a thing? How every intention can call the universe into action as sacred laws shape what you experience? The universe works in perfect order. When you align your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs with spirit, you will want to crow with delight. Feeling the excitement and the wonder of being with harmony with something much larger than yourself. Crow spirit says you are right on target now to see your dreams magically come into being in the visible world. The law of abundance, compensation, frequency, and praise are operating in your favor now. Remember to be grateful and praise what is yours, even if it is still coalescing into form, still residing in the invisible realms of co-creation. No matter what area of your life you're concerned with now, what what you hope for is on its way, for spirit is your co-creation partner. I love it. I love it so much. Just remember, abundance, have gratitude in your heart. 36, 3 and 6 is 9, koi fish, there's always enough, love it, again, number 36, if that means anything to you, mm -hmm. alright, the koi fish who grows big within a small pond reminds us that within each of us is a potential for prosperity. The law of abundance ensures that prosperity is our natural state. So regardless of temporary outer, outer conditions, you can call prosperity and magnetically attract the opportunities and abundant, abundance you need. The message of Koi Fish Spirit is to begin to generate wealth within with deliberate intention, no matter how small your pond may seem, and appreciate abundance wherever you see it. Outer conditions will come to reflect your inner prosperity. So begin to become the self who is comfortable with the wealth in all forms. Even if at the moment it feels as if riches are not yours, they soon will be. 
start to envision the plenty that spirit wants you to experience, knowing that the moment you begin to commit to conscious and deliberate co-creating, spirit will joyfully start bringing you what you need. You have so much to offer and so much of value to express to the world. In your little pond, there is so much you can create and much you can attract. Do not underestimate what you have and who you are, for koi fish spirit wants you to know that you are exquisite, loved, and deeply cherished. Trust that all outer conditions are changing to reflect the truth. Exactly. Wealth comes within. It comes within oneself. It's not about monetary. It's not. You know, monetary is just a piece of paper with a symbol on it. Wealth comes within. And the moment you realize that the wealth comes within yourself, you will be flourished with abundance. Great. I love it. I love it so much. And then lastly, these loving messages you can take with you today, tonight, this morning, wherever you are in the world. I'm going to call out to my guardian angels for one card, please. Thank you. So front of the card, back of the card, and it says, I feel you forever in my heart. You are in my thoughts and in the air I breathe. You are a jewel, a sparkling diamond. Your heart is like a great ocean of love. Thank you. I love it. I love it so much. Unconditional love. A, you, you view each other as a miracle, as that card came out, a jewel, a sparkling diamond. And I love it. I love it so much. Again, thank you so much for the love, the likes, the subs. If this resonates, kindly thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you very much, folks. Have a great day.